DOJ announcement spells doom for Clintons and their foundation as karma pays a visit. Hillary Clinton's presidential election loss sent a shocking blow through the Democratic Party. It was a major upset for Hillary, who had been dreaming about that goal all her life, but we are now learning it has led to another major upset, one that affects her beloved Clinton Foundation, where karma and the DOJ have just paid a visit. For a very long time, those of us on the right have understood the real purpose of the Clinton Foundation. It was used as a sophisticated money laundering scheme by the Clintons. As Hillary served as senator and later as Secretary of State, she used her influence in government to give her powerful friends favors. How did they repay her? They couldn't just hand her cash. They filtered it through the Clintons' charity. When the FBI started sniffing around, Hillary's team conveniently deleted 33,000 emails, most likely emails detailing this arrangement. However, we now have more evidence that the Clinton Foundation was simply aroused to buy and sell favors. Now that the Clintons no longer hold any power in U.S. government, people have stopped donating cash to the foundation. In fact, contributions have crashed since the election. Donations to the Clinton Foundation have plummeted since Hillary Clinton lost the 2016 presidential election, according to the organization's latest tax filings. The latest tax filings released by the foundation a week ago showed that contributions dropped 42 percent in 2016 from $108 million to $63 million, right around the time Clinton lost last year's presidential election, according to the New York Post. The former 2016 Democratic presidential nominee allegedly used the charity to solicit millions of dollars in donations from foreign governments and corporations in exchange for giving these entities favorable treatment while she served as Secretary of State. The decline in donations has hit the Clinton Foundation foundation hard, causing the organization to lay off 22 staffers and shut down the Clinton Global Initiative. This arrangement became so common that even eagle-eyed civilians have been able to connect the dots. 4. The Clintons had this criminal double act down pat. For each dodgy deal they did, the main payment method was Bill's speeches and donations to the Clinton Foundation. The donor dealt with Bill and Hillary would use her power as SOS to make sure the donor got what they wanted. It was clear that Hillary used her huge influence as Secretary of State to sell favors to powerful people around the world. The money they provided would go to the foundation. From there, the Clintons could use it however they wanted. The fact that donations are dropping is no surprise. Both Bill and Hillary are on the outs. They have no positions in government to barter with. In fact, the Democratic Party is more and more trying to distance themselves from the couple. The rich and powerful of the world no longer have any reason to give them money. So, the cash is drying up. That's not the only bad news for the Clinton crime family. It looks like the Justice Department is eager to look into the Foundation's history. The Justice Department announced Monday that the agency is weighing whether to appoint a special counsel to investigate the millions of dollars in Clinton Foundation donations tied to the Uranium One deal, whereby the Obama administration permitted a Canadian company called Uranium One to sell one-fifth of America's uranium to Russia in 2010. Clinton, while Secretary of State, rubber-stamped the Russian purchase of Uranium One's U.S. assets while many company owners donated a total of $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. Source, Briet Bart. Even rabid Clinton supporters can't deny the conflict of interest evident in the Russia-Uranium One deal. The State Department, under Clinton, agreed to a deal that sold a huge stake in our uranium development to Russia, while the Russians were donating millions to her foundation. You have to be deliberately lying, or an idiot, to not see the red flags. It's just more and more bad news for the Clintons, but I'm sure, like me, few of you feel bad about it. For years, this family has defrauded the American people for their own profit. Now, at last, it looks like they will get their comeuppance.